Family, 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 family. How you doing? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope everything went your way. Once again, it's your brother E. Here to spread some positivity. So, today, I want to talk about how rejection can be a blessing. Throughout our lives, we all look for acceptance. We all look to, when we pursue dreams and passions and desires and goals, we expect for it to be done. Sometimes with the path of least resistance. But for any of us who have lived a short amount of time and tried different things, we faced rejection. Things have not always gone as we planned it. Sometimes we may like a certain person and that person may not feel the same way about us. Sometimes we may apply for a certain school or a program, may not get accepted. Sometimes we may try to get a certain job or career and it doesn't happen. Some of us may try for a sports team and not make it. It's all different types of ways that we face rejection. But the key is, sometimes rejection is a blessing. I'm going to give you a few examples. One example was Walt Disney. He wanted to be a cartoonist for the Kansas City Star. But he was let go because he was told he lacked creativity and imagination. He went out to win 22 Grammy Awards have theme parks all around the world and have a crazy movie production company. But Disney, which a lot of us stream to this day, especially if we got kids. Another person I always talk about is Oprah Winfrey. How she was fired from her evening job as a news reporter in Baltimore because she was told she couldn't sever her emotions from her stories from the people who experienced the situations who she interviewed and talked to. But look at her now. She's over worth $3 billion, has her own cable television network, and for decades had the greatest talk show on television. You see? So sometimes rejection is just a blessing in disguise. Now, let's not get it wrong. Rejection at the present time when it happens does hurt. It is discouraging. It can, it can bring us down. But if you will hang in there, if you will keep moving forward, one day at a time, one step at a time, you may achieve even greater than what you've imagined. Yes, you. Harlan Sanders. Mr. KFC, this man didn't discover the chicken recipe until he was 40 years old. And even then, it took him like a decade to perfect the recipe. And in the meanwhile, a lot of people didn't want to buy on to it. So guess what? He eventually had his own. And now look, KFC is the second largest chicken chain in America. Another person. This man wrote a children book and it was rejected by the first 27 publishers who he pitched it to. 600 million books sold later. We all can remember this man by the name of Dr. Seuss. You see, sometimes Things may not work out the way we want it, but God always works it out in the way that's best for us. So if you've encountered rejection, whether that's with a person again, whether that's with a job, whether that's with a school, whether that's with a particular program, whether that's you apply for a particular home and someone else got it, whether you apply for a business loan, and you got rejected. 
don't give up yet because it may be a blessing in disguise. There's a man in the Bible who I love to talk about, Joseph, who were rejected by his 11 brothers, thrown into a pit, pulled out the pit, sold into slavery. As a slave, he was falsely accused of raping a woman. When he went into prison, he was mistreated by certain prisoners. But yet, God was going to take him to where he needed to be. So even though he was rejected from the age of 17 to 30, God knew that he was going to use him. At the age of 30, the most powerful man in all the world at this time, the Pharaoh, had a dream and needed a young man to interpret it, or he needed anybody to interpret it. And the only person who could interpret it was this foreign slave who was in prison. When he came and interpreted the Pharaoh's dream, on the spot, the Pharaoh made him the second most powerful man in all of Egypt, which was the most powerful nation in the world at that time. So in essence, he became the vice president of the entire world that quick in one day. He had been rejected all those years. He could have gave up. He could have took himself out. He could have slept with that man's wife, but he didn't because he knew that what God had for him would eventually come to pass, even if it took over a decade to achieve. King David, we all know him as the, the man who killed the giant Goliath. He had seven brothers and the prophet at this time came to David's father's house to appoint and anoint the next king of Israel at this time because the king who was ruling King Saul had disobeyed God and when the prophet Samuel came to King David's house and talked to his father Jesse he said bring me all your sons for one of them is going to be the king Jesse brought all his sons into the house with the exception of David who was out in the fields taking care of sheep and the way that Samuel would know that the young man would be appointed king, he had a vessel with oil in it. And whoever the oil flowed upon, that man would be king. So as he pulled, turned the vessel over, over the seven young men, the oil did not flow. So Samuel asked Mr. Jesse, said, sir, do you have another son? And Jesse said, oh yeah, little David out in the field. Samuel said, call for him. And when David came into the house and the prophet Samuel turned over the vessel, the oil began to flow. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, God has a special place for you in this particular time in history. You're going to do something no one has ever done before, which is going to make this world a so much better place than what it is. The key is you cannot give up, even if you have been rejected a million times. Abraham Lincoln was a man who was a frail stature. He went to war, came back. His fiance died. He opened many businesses that all failed. And he ran for office eight times and lost eight times before being finally elected the president of the United States. Michael Jordan was cut from his basketball team in high school. And he went home and cried his eyes out because he felt so rejected and disappointed. Now we know him as one of the, if not the greatest player of all times. I know a lot of people don't like LeBron James, but I personally tip my hat to him. He come from a single parent household, an inner city in Akron, Ohio. No example of what a father was. 
this young man, one of the greatest basketball players as well. But what I love about LeBron James is the type of father and parent he is. He take care of his sons like and his daughter like it's nobody's business. I never hear about LeBron out cheating. I never hear about him stealing no investment. I never hear about him mistreating his children. He even get back to communities and college all over the globe. And I don't think he should just shut up and dribble. I think he should speak his mind and use his platform for fairness, equality, inclusion, and diversity, as I think he eloquently does. Guys, girls, men, women, be the Michael Jordan, be the Oprah Winfrey, be the Walt Disney, be the Abraham Lincoln. J.K. Rowling was a single mother who wrote books. She became the first billionaire author. She's the woman who write Harry Potter. Be the first J.K. Rowling. Be the first you. What I'm saying is be the greatest it being you. The rejection doesn't mean you're not qualified. The rejection doesn't mean you're not good enough. The rejection just means God got better for you than that. Somebody might have left you. Somebody might have, you might have been with them and they, they mistreated you. So you had to leave for your peace. Rejection doesn't feel good. It hurts. But if you would just try again, don't give up. Keep going. Go harder. Go smarter. Keep a positive attitude. But know that you can do it. Believe that you can do it. Be good to people on, along the way. Take care of yourself. Take care of others when it doesn't hurt you. Then your name is going to go down to history. Just like all these other great people that I named. I don't care what you've been told. I don't care what you've been through. Some have been raped growing up. Some have been molested. Some have been abandoned. Some have been talked down to. Some have been sold. Some of you guys have experienced some bad things. Some of you guys have made bad decisions on your own. But the past is the past. And today is a new day. And you got to start a new path and get on your way. Because the world needs you to do what you were made to do. And you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. As sure as we're going to see the sun in the morning, Lord willing, for those who wake up. As sure as it came out this morning. As sure as you can achieve any goal, any dream, and whatever your heart desires. Don't let rejection stop you or make you quit. When the going gets tough, the tough keep going. Tough times don't last, but tough people do. And if you made it through 2020, oh yeah, you're a champion. You're a warrior. You're an overcomer. You're a winner. You're a success. You can do it. And the world is counting on you to do it. All right? So go get it. Go get it. Go get it done. You got this. You got this. I love you, but not more than our father. Only his love is perfect and really unconditional. And he put you here to make a difference in this world today. All right? You can do it. Rejection is protection. Rejection puts you in the right direction. Rejection is a blessing. And let's be careful to not reject people who don't need to be rejected because we know how that feels. We can't accept everything. We can't do everything. We can't say yes to everything. We know that. But but that what we can, let's do. And if we do have to say no and reject some, somebody, let's do it in the most decent, kind, loving possible way possible. But ladies and gentlemen, the world is yours. Let's make the most of it. 
and then be a blessing to someone else. All right? All right? All right? Come on now. All right? All right? I love you. God bless you. I'm out.